another argument that internet addiction disorder doesn't belong in the DSM is that it's frequently symptomatic of other disorders. Depression, anxiety, trauma. Often it's an escape from things we don't want to deal with. From my everyday lives to things far, far worse. Though the most common disorder might just be that we have too much time in our hands. Blake, wait a few days. He already knows I'm not cool. I think we might have an excellent example of internet addiction disorder right here in class. Aside from Ms. Woodson and Ms. Matheson, does anyone else here experience symptoms 